Hello and welcome back to another episode of Winemaking 101, the series where I answer your most common questions about winemaking at home. Today's question is all about note taking, record keeping and keeping a lot of the wines you make at home. A lot of people entering the hobby often want to know if there's an app they can download for the phones or what the best method is of keeping track of the pure volume of recipes, of results, of taste testing and just general data they gather about their home brew. I don't know about apps for your phone simply because I don't have a smartphone. I don't need one, I don't have one. But if there is an app for your phone, let me know down in the comments below so other people can benefit from your experience and wisdom. There are two methods of log keeping that I do. The first is the old fashioned approach and I use a journal. I use a big notebook. These are just the two that I have here with me. They're my most recent notebooks but I probably have about 10 of these filled with recipes and details and tasting notes and my opinions of the wines. So there's probably about 20 years worth of notes and recipes just in these two books alone. That's why I love keeping a paper copy because the notebooks stay where you're making the wine and where you're drinking the wine then it's so easy just to jot down the basic information that you have at hand. Whereas if you do my other style which is on a computer I normally have to memorize or write down on a strap of paper the information and then upload it later on, later in the day, and then I tend to forget. So my preferred method is in a notebook. Easy, simple, you can enter what you want when you want to enter it. I guess these days with a phone in your pocket all the time that takes you directly to an app, you can do the same thing. In these I enter the recipes, I enter ideas, I enter results, I enter gravity readings, I enter all the things that I want to look back on next time I make a brew. I jot down the things I like, the things I didn't like, things I would improve, then that allows me to make better wines further on down the line. The other method that I have mentioned already is uploading the information into a computer, into a spreadsheet. I'm going to put a link down below to a master copy of the log that I use. Feel free to use this if you want, or to copy it, or adapt it to your needs. So let's have a quick look at it. You may or may not want to fill in all of these cells, such as the pH and acidity levels. At a simple level, you don't really need to fill these in. You don't really need to know this information. But it will benefit your winemaking in the long term. Also, there's the ingredients. Be as accurate as you can when entering the details in terms of weights and quantities that you use. There's no point just putting down a bunch of rhubarb because next year how big is a bunch? Was your bunch this year bigger than it was last year? It will affect the wine. And if you want to make consistently good wine, consistent record keeping is essential to achieving this. The fun bit is the tasting notes. Every time you try that wine, jot down your thoughts, your opinions, does it need longer? How long should you leave that wine for? What's the aroma like? All these details will benefit your knowledge in the long term of winemaking and this hobby and your craft of winemaking. So those are the two methods that I use. As well on the demijohns and fermentation buckets, I like to add a sticky label with the name of the wine, the date I started it and the dial number. Dial number simply being a reference number to either a notebook or an online entry. And this is normally the year initially, followed by the gallon number. So it's 2020 this year, so that's me the first four digits, followed by 79 gallons. So it'd be 2020 79 because that's the gallon number I'm on so far this year, and that's how I do the dial number but you can work out your own system. It could be as simple as one, two, three, four, five, or whatever reference points you want to add, use it. So I just briefly wanted to cover those points. So if you want to use a copy of my online Google Docs spreadsheet, feel free. I've also included a sample of my most recent wine I made this morning, which is a rhubarb and mint wine. Just so you can work through and see how and see what data I entered 
into the relevant cells. So have fun and I'll see you soon for the next video. Have fun now.